Okay, today we're going to talk about the cruise tool. Um, it is a tool used to allow you to take a shape and put it adjacent or stack onto another shape. And so here, for example, we have a box and a roof. And if I wanted to put the roof on top of the box to make a house, uh, prior to the introduction of the cruise tool, I would have to either manually figure this out, like pick it up and drag it across, um, or I would have to do something like changing the work plane, which you saw in a previous video of mine. Um, but that's, I mean, that works, but the cruise tool really makes this a lot easier. And it does a few other things. So if you look up here in the top right, you will see this uh, tool, this icon here for cruise, or you can type the C key. By the way, that is not available if nothing is selected. So it's designed to be used on any given shape. So if I were to select the roof shape and then click on cruise or type C, you'll notice that I have now a handle that I can grab onto uh, the shape that I had selected. And I can move that to any different place and any shape and any plane that I wanted uh, to put it on. So I can go like this and now my uh, roof shape is now on the box. And I can do the same stuff that I would, you know, after p placing a shape anywhere. I can rotate it and lift it and change its size and all that. But um, basically it puts its own temporary work plane, this time green instead of yellow, um, onto the, the shape itself. And so um, the other thing to keep in mind that uh, the, the, the cruise shape is really great for, I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now. I'm going to bring another one out. Uh, the other thing that I actually had made a, a video on prior to this was sometimes we get to the point where we have moved objects around and we've rotated them and we've shifted them where it's difficult to be able to put them back onto the flat work plane itself. Like if I were to hit the D key and drop this, it, it drops it, but it doesn't put it flat onto the work plane. And so the cruise tool solves that. So if I click on this, I click on cruise. Now I can just take my handle and I can drop it flat on the work plane. Very easily done. Um, one last thing I will note is that now when in Tinkercad, when you select any object, you can take uh, the, the, it's, I'm don't, not sure if this is called uh, cruise itself, but basically any new shape brought onto the work plane can be instantly um, uh, placed adjacent to or on top of a new object or an existing object on your work plane. Okay, and that's all for the cruise tool.